Hey guys, I'm Christina, I'm Dan's wife, and today we're going to make a video with me pinstriping the Pioneer Chainsaw. I'm not a YouTuber, nor am I that comfortable in front of the camera, so bear with me. Um, Dan's not even here to supervise. I'm doing it completely solo. Um, probably better that he's not here because he likes to micromanage. Shh, don't tell him I said that. But um, I'm gonna do my best to show different angles, tell you why I'm doing it, how I'm doing it. You're probably gonna hear the dogs barking because there's lots of people walking outside. Um, hence my house. My kids are in school, so hopefully we'll get a little bit of peace and quiet. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Okay, so here's my setup. I have a cut down Dixie cup with some dark green one shot. I've thinned it a little bit with some mineral spirits. Um, I'll probably have to show you how I did that, but Dan has my little squirter, so I'm just having to use a, a cup best that I can. Um, I'm using a Excalibur triple zero, triple aught, right? Um, pinstriping brush that I have trimmed. And by trimming, I mean the little hairs at the end sometimes kind of mess it up and get in the way. So this has been trimmed and used a lot. So it's probably even a little smaller than the, the triple lot. Um, we're going to start on this little piece just to kind of get myself warmed up. To start with, it's kind of something hard to teach people. And it's something you just kind of learn the more that you do this. But you want to get the paint kind of, it's, it's all about finding the right consistency. You don't want it too sticky, but you don't want it too runny. Just enough that it has enough drag that you can have a little control. Yeah, this is going to be fun. Dan, why'd you take my squirter? So, anyway, let's stir it up a little bit. Kind of test it. I use a magazine to test it with. See, we're getting there. We're able to not have too much stickiness. Still a little on the thick side, but I like to have it a little thicker if you want to use thinner lines. At least that's my personal preference. The thinner it is, the bigger the lines tend to be because they're going to spread out and you can do it quickly. So let's just give it a go. Not too bad. Definitely, definitely a little rusty. Make this a little sharper here. I ended up switching brushes. I went to a double lot instead of the triple. The triple has some weird little curl happening, and that's just probably the way the brush had been stored. So there's that. A little ditty. Um, I'll probably do a second color, a lighter color. Another little simple um, couple lines on top of that. So we'll kind of put that aside for now. He wants me to do the lettering and the little stars in green as well, but I'm going to wait till the pinstriping is dry before I do that. I tend to like to put my hands everywhere, and if I have wet paint, then I'm going to have wet fingerprints everywhere. So, um, yeah. Let's figure out how we're going to tackle this one now. Okay, this, this side cover doesn't have a lot of really strong body lines per se. It's all very rounded and bulbous. So I added a center line here just so I have a little bit better visual. So he wants me to do a little piece here. I think in my paint just a little bit. It's on the thin side. Let's give it a go.
trying to show you how I'm palleting my brush, but I can't quite get it into the whole shot here. I kind of just go back and forth each side, and then I finish to smooth it, make it flat. Pinky, steady myself. Yeah, kind of looks like a tree. Okay, this part I'm going to get a little bit more funky with. See how it goes. You might be able to see my iPad in the back. I sketched this whole stuff to get Dan's approval. So it's just kind of a reminder of the shapes that I wanted to go with. Some of it I've kind of went a little rogue on, but for the most part, I'm trying to stick to the shapes that Dan wanted me to use. Shut that off. The battery life on iPads are terrible, so we'll just shut that off for now. has a curve on the tip, so yeah. Sometimes I try to visualize the, the lines that I'm going to create first. Sometimes you'll see me put the brush down, like I don't like that. Oh, 
we'll add another color. Get more dimension in there. Let's bring it along. So I apologize. Um, I'm in selfie mode because I need to fold it. See what I'm doing? Um, so on this part, I'm going to start doing some wood. I lied. The pinstripe is still wet, but I think I can work around it. So on this one, you can kind of see that the lettering is pretty sharp on the edges. I like to come through and really accentuate the sharpness with a stabilo. And this is just so I can really kind of see where I'm at and have really good contrast. It makes the, the lettering a lot sharper. Cover, I'm definitely going to have to use my little stipulo trick. Okay. To this piece. Um, the letters on this are pretty rounded over. This is really when it's important to let your pencil be your guide. I'm sure there's a lot of pinstripers and sign makers out there that are just laughing at me right now, but like I said, it's been a few years since I've done this. I'll just keep doing that and I'll be back. I started out as a sign maker apprentice and I learned how to do hand lettering. That's where Dan and I met. It's at the old sign shop. Okay, so now we're going to do a little bit of polar white. I always like to add a second color or third or fourth or fifth. I really like to add a lot of colors, but um, this time we're only going to add one. Just try to get a little drop out of this.
Okay, not too bad. Let's get that out of the way. So I'm gonna keep it really simple. I don't wanna overdo it. So the trick is to add to it without overdoing it. Easier said than done, but let me see. works. We'll go with it. Putting it just a tiny bit here. Okay. And it's, for the most part, it's dry. It's still slightly tacky, but I don't want to run my finger over it. So we can get the same actually stay in place, maybe. Sure. Important is the end result, right? Yeah. Can you see that? Okay. On to the top cover. Get a better shot. This little tree. I don't think I'm going to do much with the tree. It's going to leave a little white dart in the middle of it. Cute. Hey guys, here is the 
final result. You can hear my cat bell in the background. Well, there you go, guys. My first pinstriping video. Um, definitely a little nerve-wracking. I know I took a lot of takes to try to get the shot that I thought you guys needed. But um, overall, I had fun, and I look forward to hearing some of your comments. I kept it short and sweet with some of the information, so I feel free to, you know, give me a shout out. Hey, what did you use for this? Hey, what can I use for this? Uh, what can I not use? Um, I'll be happy to answer them. Until then, we're going to assemble this thing, get it put back together. I'm going to look it over, see if, hey, maybe I need to add a little something here or there. I'm all about flow and balance. That's just kind of how I roll. So, yeah, until then, see you later.